Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Dungeon. Welcome to this new video on my channel, my friends. So in this video, I'm going to cover the new download section of Steam, of the Steam client, the Steam launcher, guys. So this came out last week, uh, more or less, and I want to show you some tweaks, some ideas that I already uh, found and I think are very really cool to use. So you see here, I was uh, downloading already uh, some of those games and I'm directly jumping into it so i'm starting now the download of the new patch of cyberpunk 2020 and uh what uh, what are we seeing so we see now here the download rate here on the left side under this uh big uh, big blue uh, uh the big blue <laughs> loading loading uh, loading column and it's now you see here this this means download and this means writing on the hard disk so 19.8 gigabyte is written on the hard disk so this this usage also you can see here so this is also a very uh, very useful and uh, you have done here the diagram if the green one is uh, the disk hardware so this is actually the way how it's installed so install downloaded 9.5 gigabyte and it's installed 20.4 gigabyte so very useful i think because sometimes we download games as and then we don't know is it now installed or not especially when it's a preload a preload for example is only downloaded and then you start the whole uh, installation process and sometimes this just takes an eternity so in my opinion if you have a decent internet connection like me now uh, then i would uh, recommend you to just download directly and install at the same time and don't use the pre uh, preload uh, function so, but that's my opinion all right so very very cool of course always here you can uh, uh, remove from the queue you can download directly so this is all known and oh, now we don't see it, but normally you have here a little uh, a little icon that says, okay, this is a patch uh, and the developer was providing some more information for the patch, it's telling you like, okay, this is a, this is, this is the content of the patch. I think that is pretty cool. And then you can click on this and then you see directly what's the content guys. And then I'm stopping this now here because to protect a little bit my hard disk, yeah, not for, forget to protect your hard disk. So uh, don't download always at the same time when you do our very heavy uh, usage of your hard disk. So most probably if you if you work at the same time, you do some heavy uh, usage uh, on one hard drive, make sure to have different hard drives uh, that you're not uh, downloading on, on let's say your hard drive uh, D and you're downloading on D and on D you also do your heavy work. Uh, this huge, a lot of this hard drive. So that's just my recommendation to protect your hard drive a little bit. So, and then uh, I'm going now here in the settings and then I show you uh, yeah, my download region. So then you have the different folders. If you want to, uh, uh, if you if you change, uh, if you change, for example, your hard drives, you click here on the Steam folders. And then I'm, go I'm going to show this to you now here. Voila, storage manager, Steam library folders allow installing Steam content on multiple devices. So I have, as you can see, I have now 16 more terabytes uh, since this week. Yeah, that's my new big hard disk with 10.9 terabyte. And uh, you also see now uh, on this column here, for example, how many games are installed on C. So this is C, this is the main, uh, the main driver. And then I have here the game drivers. You see also then which games are actually installed there. So I think that's really cool. And uh, Okay, browse, make default, repair. You can repair a folder if you, for example, say there was a game installed and I don't find it. Then you click on repair folder or you click browse folder and you can also find it back. So make default, that means uh, it's by default downloading uh, on this on this folder. So for example, here on D, this is one of my biggest one. You see, I have like games of 1.7 terabytes. You see how many DLCs you have installed, how much workshop content, other content free. So other content is the non-Steam content. So it's very cool, I think, very, very cool. So to use this and then uh, for example, here on C is of course my launcher per C. And then uh, download restrictions here, for example, I am telling them, but it's not saving this, that's really weird. I'm telling, uh, for example, Steam would to download uh, only automatically between uh, yeah, midnight and uh, one minute after midnight. I'm not allowing downloads now during gameplay just to protect my hard drives but in case I don't know on which hard drive I'm playing at the moment. Uh, throttle downloads while streaming. Okay, this makes sense as well. Display download rates in bits per second. So bits and not bytes. 
yeah, very complicated if you're not an informatics guy. If you're just a, a casual gamer like me, you get a bit confused sometimes. How is it one byte is eight bits? I don't know. <laughs> so low bandwidth, then you can also limit your bandwidth. This is also maybe useful if you want to. You want to download, but at the same time you want to play uh, on the other hard drive. You want to play uh, a game. So. So, okay, saving and that's it. So guys, I would say this new uh, download section is pretty, has a pretty nice new design, pretty cool. I, I definitely enjoy it and I can only recommend you to, to check it out, to, to tweak a little bit, to find out uh, what suits you best. And with this, I'm leaving it and I wish you a wonderful weekend. See you next time. Bye bye.